Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the character creator to create any avatar and send to Icon 7 to create a facial animations and talking animation. What we call the VSAM animation and export it as FBX with complete facial and talking animations together with the body animations and export it to Autodesk Maya. Alright. So just follow step by step here. First, I'm going to character creator tree. And here I'm going to apply a random hair. To be very quick, I will generate an avatar at here. And next, I'm going to make up this avatar. And next, I'm going to deactivate the, the editor and we're back to the avatar. Alright, next I'm going to apply apply the body, the body shirt. And I will apply a pants. Next, I feel this avatar is a little bit fat, so now I will apply the body shape at the full body. Now, I will make it body thin. Alright, once I feel satisfied, I will just, just click here to send to iClone. Send to iClone to create a facial animation. Just need to wait for a while. This avatar is sent to iClone 7. All right, now I'm going to create a facial animation here. Double click to select the avatar and click here, click the face key and wait for a while after you click the face key, it is loading the face key and now I can click the expressions. After a few seconds, I want this avatar to, to show the happy face and after a few seconds, I want this avatar to show to show the angry face. And after a few a few more seconds I want this this avatar to show the default neutral expression. So now if I back to the frame one I played the facial animation already are there. For a few seconds this is called the facial expressions. The facial animation. 
second step I'm going to create create a script create a talking animation let the avatar to talk of course I can re record my own voice I can use the audio file like WAV or MP4 files and I also can use the TTS as demo I will use the TTS file the, the TTS creator I generate a female sound hello everyone testing one two three testing complete all right now I click OK start from the beginning it automatically generate the voice at the same time it generate the mouth animations the talking animation and let us have a look hello everyone testing one two three test right. incomplete okay again okay. let us preview it three testing complete okay so we stop here and this is the range I'm going to drag the range exactly at here and next we are going to export it out the motion plus before that, the body is still stationary. We are going to apply the body motions. I will click here, click the motions, select a suitable motion. I use the icon 7 motion, the female. Okay, if I put this, let's have a look. Hello everyone. Testing. No, I don't want this. I use this. Hello everyone. Testing. One. Okay, not good. I use the idle. If I use this. Hello everyone. Testing. One. Okay, this is just an idle pose. Okay, now you have the body animation already. Hello everyone. Testing. One, two, three. You can three. see the body is moving. Testing complete. So now the whole 3D animation, you have three components. The first one is the facial expression. Hello everyone. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Comp you have the facial expressions. You have the talking animations. And at the same time, you have the body animations. We are going to save this as a motion plus as the next step. Click here. Click custom. Click motion plus. And we are going to click plus. To create a new motion plus, this is the one, the motion plus one. This is the combination of the, all the animations, included the facial animations, mouth animations, and also your body animations. It all combined together and set as a file. And now we want to export it out as FBX file so that you can transfer to your Autodesk Maya. What can you do? First, you export this avatar to 3D Exchange. You click here. Click edit in 3D exchange and wait for a while now the 3D exchange is is importing and you need to wait for a while until it finish load. Now let's have a look. The 3D Exchange 7 already loaded this avatar. Next, you have to drag the side bar, you drag it down. Wait for a while. Alright, you drag down until you see motion library. You need to back to the icon 7. This is the motion plus. You right click and Click Find File. Once you click Find File, it will automatically open with the Window Explorer. You are going to drag this the Motion Plus One to your 3D Exchange Seven. Have to drag into your animations the Motion Library. Where is it now? The Motion Plus folder. I drag the Motion Plus One into the Motion Library. Next, remember to click Add All to perform. Now it will appear here, motion plus one. You can have a, tr a test now. If you play. Hello everyone. Testing. One, two, 
3. Now you can see the body animation is complete. And how about the facial animation? Hello everyone. Testing. 1, 2. So you can see this Motion Plus, it already included the facial animations and also the talking animation, what we call the VSAM actions, with complete complete motions and also the audio file. Now, we want to export this as FBX file so that you can import the animations together with the mesh and facial animations and VSAM into Autodesk Maya. Now, I click export. I minimize everything first. Now, as demo, I will export it on my desktop. I click export FBX and here I choose Maya window 32 bits optimize and then here include animations include geometry embed embed texture yes now the destinations is on my desktop I browse and click the desktop and click OK the file name I will click CC, CC3 01. This is the file name. I click OK. And then click OK. It is exporting. Exporting as SFBX file. After finish exporting, it will appear here. Now you can see this is the one, the FBX file that included the motions. My Autodesk Maya is ready. I'm going to import into my Autodesk Maya and have a test to see whether all the facial animation, the VSAM and the body motion will be exported together or not. Just have a look. I drag into Autodesk Maya and wait for a while. It is importing. While it is importing, it will show not responding here. Just need to wait. It will seem the whole, the whole software is lag, is jammed, but actually you have to be patient and wait for a while until it finish loading. What about now? It is still loading because the, the software is freezing. Now you can see it is ready. Wait for a while. All right. So this is Autodesk Maya. And we are going to have a look. Just now, if you back to your 3D exchange, when you click the export, the animation is 30 FPS. So here, if you play this, it's 24 FPS. So it may be wrong, so you change this to 30 FPS and, and just have a try. Okay, I make it stop first. I want to see all all the texture, I click here to show all the, the texture. Wait for a while and have a look. Now, I click here back to the zero frame and I play. You can see all the facial animations, the VSAM, the facial expressions, and also the body animations, it all exported together to Autodesk Maya. And now you can do more, more modifications on 3D modeling and 3D animations. And it is really awesome. This is how can we export all the expression and facial animation and VSAM mouth talking animations together from iClone 7. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell. And select all so that when next time, I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.